Hey everybody, we're back. This is some more Shadowrun Returns. Got pretty heavy last time. We invaded this the BTL den with Coyote and Paco, who turned out to be a real boy, and ended up having to kill Coyote's sister, Gino. Coyote's sister. Fuck! That was almost, like, almost a good synapsis. No, her uh, cousin, Gino. And he was totally slotted out of his brain. If I remember right now, we're going to be after the... Let's see. I don't know. We're looking for trouble. Shannon's plan. Oh, yeah. Shannon Half Sky. Uh, we're going to go and try to get the spirits from that warehouse. All right. Shannon's plan is the best lead you've got to find out more about the Ripper. But getting back into the warehouse is going to require some support in case the Drek hits the fan. The Seamstress's Union will have exactly what you need a fixer. Finding this unnecessary metal or this necessary middleman and deal bro broker is the key to most plans involving Shadowrunners. A good fixer is worth every Nuyen. It's their job to have contacts who know who's good at what. They'll put you to take together the team you need. Magical support, skilled street samurai for muscle, and a, no and a Nova hot decker for matrix work. Running the shadows is a life and death gam gamble. It pays to hire the best shadow runners you can. All right, well, let's do it. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Hey, can we talk to Cherry? No, oh, yeah, we can. She flags you down as you walk through the door. Hey, Mac, there's a woman looking for you. Jessica something. She's waiting for you by the safe. By the stage. Bellevue type. Wouldn't order anything. Won't touch anything. I'm afraid she thinks she's afraid of diseases or something. Thanks, Cherry. No charge, chummer. Why is the bar so empty? Don't get so much action in the early afternoon. Just a few salami salarymen slumming tourist villain hoping to talk to Madam Sinful or some diehard regulars. Madam Sinful? It's what the downtown folks call Miss Kubota. Touristville thing. They like her to have a naughty name like that. Is that guy still bugging you? You mean my ex? Shane. Yeah. No, he hasn't been around since last time. No calls, no pages, no hadn't written notes either. Weird. He was so persistent. I guess he finally got the message. Maybe he'll get someone at the Universal Brotherhood of his and settle down. I want to look around. You know, I have a feeling Shane's going to show up again. And it might be in a body bag. Hey, John Bartlett. You look like a man with lots of swords. Look. Full of life with a quick smile, the man tilts his head and watches you approach. Hey, guy, what's shaking? Little of this, little of that. I hear that, am I? I might have something for you if you've got the new year. Time is money, I'm listening. You ever hear of the Nephilim Network? Of course you have. Any in the know guy like you has heard of the premier Merc team out there? Of course I have, sure. You know you can hire us to run when you need expert help? Not just any tube calling himself a runner. Cost more, but we're worth it. At all the swords this guy has. I don't really know if I'm gonna hire him unless I have to. Hey Van Grass, what's up? I'm a very busy man. Show me something. I got data from the NTSB. Renraku would pay to keep it quiet. I already pay to know what it is. Get 800 million for something like that. Etiquette Shadowrunner. I know you'll double dip on this one. Make it a thousand. As long as you keep bringing me stuff like this, sure. Hell yeah, Van Grass, you my dwarf. All right, I got money to hire some bitches now. Jessica Watts. Oh, it's Je it's his sister. She has got some serious poofy 80s hair. All right, well. Hey, Jess, what's up? Wow. Scarlett Johansson much? Um, okay, at a glance, you can tell Sam's sister's Jessica's from a different world, the opposite of Sam, in almost every way. Her suit is tailored, her eyes are sharp, and her style exudes authority. Miss Watts? Jessica Watts? She eyes you up and down wary, warily. She does a good job of hiding it, but it's clear that she's well outside her comfort zone. Yes, and you are? Um, Mac Midnight. I used to work with your brother Sam. Should have guessed. How's that? You look like the type. Seedy. Just because I have tusks, a mohawk, and a glowing gas mask, you're gonna be all racist and shit. She seems instantly regret saying it. I'm sorry. Look. I just want to understand what's going on here. A woman who called herself Coyote contacted me this morning to inform me that my brother was dead. And now and that I should come to this place and speak to someone about an investigation. Sam didn't die of natural causes. He was murdered. She briefly casts her eyes skyward and gives a small shake of her head. I wish I could say it's a shock, but given the circles he ran in, Sam hadn't run the shadows in years. You say so, but even so, look at these place, these people, and you. You know what? She furrows her brow, regarding you more critically. You're not with the police, are you? Figured that all out in yourself, bitch. 
She scowls, an ugly expression on an otherwise pretty face. Just that I'm worried about. Such an attitude could jeopardize any real shot of solving this case. Surely there's an official police investigation going on. Why not let the professionals handle this? Because Lone Star is a bag of chumps, woman. You must have better things to do than waste your time searching for whoever killed my lowlife brother. First, Sam was my friend. Second, I'm being paid for my trouble. She seems genuinely surprised. Someone's paying you? I find it hard to believe that anyone who really knew Sam uh, put up the money. Who is it? <laughs> Sam hired me himself. Don't understand. It's called a dead man switch. It triggered when he died. Am I to believe that my drunken sot of a brother hired you to find out who killed him after he died? Her boardroom mask drops momentarily, and in a sigh of relief, she... A brief reveals a brief glimpse of real emotion. I left Seattle to get away from Sam and his bullshit, and now I'm back. He's dead, and I still have to deal with him. Jessica composes herself, and in a breath, the mask is back in place. Listen to me, Mac. You seem like a decent person. I'm trying to move on with my life. Our, her mother killed herself last year, and Sam, well, Sam was Sam, you know? I worked hard to put my family issues behind me. I don't want to see this drag on. I'm closing in. I can feel it. I just don't know if I can take it. The waiting, the worrying. Please reconsider. On the streets, honor still means something. I'm sticking with the job. Um, the living instead of the dead. You're a bitch. Never mind. I can see you're not going to let me this go. I respect that you're honoring my brother's memory in your own way. But I hope you can understand how emotional... You know what? You're a bitch. I really hate you. <sighs> All right. <laughs> If I can question this horror and get on the way. You are really mean. He was your brother. Do you not give a shit about him? Um. You and your brother close. You don't seem to kill whether it's killer face justice. Oh, justice, I can't. I drag you down again. Show the picture. Brightly, as if it might sting her. That guard drops the launch. Sam's bunk. It was one of the few possessions he still had. She studies the old photo for several silent moments. What happened between you two? Things were different back then. We were different. We were a family. Then, after our father died, things began to change. We couldn't get back to normal. With our dad around here, always reassuring. Order to our lives. But after everything got mixed up, you can really never really appreciate the importance of a person in your life until they're gone. Remorse plays wet across her eyes, and it seems like she's just not talking about her father. Jessica steals herself to tell the rest. Sam tried to be a man of the house. He truly did, but he couldn't handle it. Pretty soon, he'd spent every dime of our father's life insurance. Every dime. And that was gone. Mom was working, too. Three jobs. Spent all of her money, too. Couldn't stand the way he abused her trust, so finally I just had to leave. Well, Sam wasn't a good guy. Holds the photo for a part to relinquish it. I'm only looking to hold on to both. Keep this. Sure. Um... When was the last time you saw Sam? Has it been ages? I can't even remember. Um, there was a note on Sam's body. Sounded like an apology and offered to meet up. Bury the hatchet. Signed, Jessica. I wrote many such notes in the beginning, but I haven't made such an effort in a long time now. I don't know why he would have kept it. Catholic, but I think it's an exaggeration that she sacrificed her life for Sam. She turned a blind eye to what Sam was becoming, refused to acknowledge his downward spiral, and I couldn't watch her do it anymore, so I moved out. All right. Um, I really don't care about the rest of these questions. She doesn't know shit about her brother. Before I go, I should know I'm re-entering my, re my brother's, my mother's body tomorrow, and I'm arranging to have Sam buried with her. Funeral's tomorrow at Our Lady Bless Second at 7 o'clock. You're more than welcome to attend. Thanks. Hope you find what you're looking for. Stay safe. Uh, I do not like that woman. Sorry I called her a whore. She just made me mad. I don't know how she could just not care about her brother at all. Like, really? Whatever. Gonna be... Shadowrun's like that. People just... Humans just don't matter anymore. 
Hey, it's Coyote. Um, ooh, Mr. Delilah has a thing for me. It's, uh, Coyote's walking down the back bar. She doesn't stop when you approach, but he keeps her eyes on her work. Hey, you okay? Yep, fine. I don't want to talk about what happened with Gino, okay? What's done is done. Gino's dead. I'm alive. There's all that there is to it. It's the Barons, right? Nothing more to do or say. You know it. I'm going to keep looking for work. Your kind of work. So if something keeps... You and, I'll definitely take you, Coyote, as long as your dumbass boyfriend doesn't have to come along. Alright. Hey, Cluey. What up, buddy? How are you holding down the fort? Well, as always, people are more on edge than usual. Word got around about the latest Ripper killing, and people aren't feeling safe. When people feel unsafe, they either go to ground or they huddle up. Notice how empty the streets are these days? Because either you're locked in their squats or hold up in places like this. Seek, seeking refuge in the nearest Universal Brotherhood chapter house. Safety in numbers, chummer. Not that we need numbers here. I got it covered. I bet you do. I like that man. He's nice. Alright, let's go talk to our fixer here. Mr. Delilah. Yes, Mr. Delilah. I have a need I think you can fill. Of course you do. That's why you came back. Street Croc is that you're tracking the Ripper. What can I do for you, Ripper Tracker? I need to put a crew together. You got the scratch. You're trying to pay me out, uh, out, of, out of your earnings. Hey, the runners up front. Excellent. You get on terms. Got some runners to call if you got any special requests. I'm ready to go. Let's call them. How much? I have five thousand dollars, so I can hire some dudes. So I can take her. Gallo glass. Here's the Nephilim guys. Okay. I don't really... Got a shaman. Mages are cool, but I don't really need that. What I really need... Is a, a tech guy. Because I am awful at it. Hypnotus. Hypotenuse. Um, do we have any other deckers? We have a troll decker. Aquinas. Is he who... You've got an assault rifle. Um, what do you got? This guy doesn't have a fucking... Oh, he has a, This guy doesn't even have a deck. We're gonna take this guy. Matrix is dumb. It does exactly what you tell it to, but it tells us its secrets. <laughs> Alright. Um, wait, can I look at their skills? Which one of these two is better at tech stuff? Decking, three. Yeah, this guy. Um, then, let's see. I don't really know who else I want. I have, I have, I want to take, um, I want to take Coyote, but I don't know if she's down. Just wait a second. Wait a second. Coyote. Damn it. Alright, maybe I can't hire Coyote for this. Whatever. Fine. Buddy. Alright, I want this guy. And I want... Build you up while telling her down your enemies. No problem. Troll rigor. I think we're going to take Gallo Glass, the mage. Just an excuse to shoot some more fireballs. Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. Alright. I think we'll end here, and we will actually do all the fighting and flailing around with the keyboard next time.